What's up, good people? Welcome again to Lloyd's TV, Africa's number one interview TV, and of course, it's the home of entertainment. Na kama kawaida, we bring new amazing episode. Na leo nikona amazing guest. Mimi, first nikona problem. Nataka tu yeye atu tatulie kidogo apa. Mm. <laughs> the first time I met you, me nilikuita na your role name. Because yo jinako, it's kind of... It's kind of hard to pronounce, according to me. Like, what's the right pronunciation of your name? Introducing yourself to that camera, Napio Tuambie, the right pronunciation of your name. All right. So, my name is Sibyl. S-Y-B-I-L. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the, you know, the goddesses guy. <laughs> yes, Sibyl. Mukandutie. Which is also hard, so I always use collect. It's my artistic name. It's my baptismal name. So any, if you call me any of those, it's me. But Sibyl, you won't find another. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, 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 on point. Sasa mimi, the next time stay pronounce Vibaya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mimi, nazasema, I've watched you. The first time I watched you, it was kwa Njorwa Huba. Mm, that oh, was the first time I watched you. Okay. Maybe is that was that your first uh, acting role in Yulipata ama ni mimi ndio nilichelewa kukudiscover. Damn, damn. Mimi nianza kuwa 2015. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine by the time Jeroba I'm doing it that's 2019. Wow. So that was not my first gig. Mm-hmm. My first gig was in 2015 after I'd finished high school because I finished in 2014. Mm-hmm. And it was a series, a lead role for a series that was oh. on Star Times. Mm-hmm. You know, that was the time that people are moving out to digital migration. Yeah. So Star Times was trying to put Kenyan content. And so, yeah, we had a show called Majaribu. Mm-hmm. And I was the lead character called Naomi. That was my first, I would say, official TV debut. Mm-hmm. And then now from there, I just kept doing supporting here and there, the trap house, nini, nini, pray and pray, just one episode, two episodes like that. At the same time, I was in university. So it's like I was just balancing both school and, you know, the other side, which is now acting up until, interestingly, when I finished now my university like this, the day I went exam, I went to the exam leo. The next day I went for auditions for Njorauba and I got it. So it was just like a whole transition. And then that's now what ushered me now into the world of acting. acting. Yeah, after yeah. university. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talking about auditions, maybe what made you want to try acting to the kind of extent of going for auditions? Ama, let me just make it in a simpler way. Uh, what made you look for your first acting gig? So, interestingly, me, my first acting gig, mm-hmm. which I just mentioned, how did I get that? There was a director that used to direct me in high school. And so he directed me in Form 2. Mm-hmm. His name was Derek Waswa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he still does KU plays majorly and Z-Tech. Yeah. So he was our director when I was in Form 2. And then now after I finished school, he found himself in another project. Mm-hmm. And one of the characters had pulled out. And so now they are like, we are looking for like a small girl who can play a student and stuff like that. And it's like, there's a girl I know who's just finished high school. <laughs> so he was like, yo, can you be available to come and shoot something? And I said, okay. And so I went and then, um, even if we're to shoot in team, mm-hmm. and the people that we are working with, the reason I don't usually mention it is my first, though it is officially my first, mm-hmm. is because the project never got to, you know, get on oh, air, to yeah. be watched. Um, so it was just something that I did. And then now when I went there is when I got now other connections. I got into audition groups. I got contacts for people that now are working in the industry. And as soon as we were done with that project, we came back to Nairobi because it was in Moranga. And the very next day I went for auditions for Majaribu. Wow. And then now everything just followed. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so after audition, you say, umefanya uh, many auditions to get to your gigs. Nani gani umepata through referrals ama calls? I, I can't count the number of auditions that I've done. Mm-hmm. As latest as last week, I was shooting another one. And it's usually a, like a rule of this audition. Just post care feedback in one, two weeks. Ah, you mm-hmm. amen. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. Post care feedback one, two weeks. Ah, you amen. So, I don't anything back. So, you're to say, Matricia, I But, yeah. <laughs> Auditions, I can't count the number of auditions that I've done. Mm-hmm. So many. I always just have to keep doing it because you just never know when it's your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, kuna, kuna there is a role you played on Igiza. Uh, I feel like your role is a bit challenging for uh, I don't know how you pulled out <laughs> to do that that role. Maybe your role, how did it come up? So, mm-hmm. um, I just remember, just before I answer that question, you also yeah. asked about referrals. Yes. So, there are several projects where I have gotten jobs, not through auditions, but mm-hmm. through referrals. Mm-hmm. Because you see, when you get to a set and then you work with someone and they see your job and they see your work, mm-hmm. the next time they go to another project, they're like, ah, there's this Kangal I know. You just called, you just called, you just called. Mm-hmm. Like, I know for a fact there's a movie called Aisha that I did back, like in the 2016 or 17. Mm-hmm. That set me up for Njorauba. Those ones had gotten my number through a referral. Like, just come, we're doing this project. It's like a startup project and stuff like that. At that particular point, I went. I just did it. I didn't know that much later in life that the ones were going to do Njorauba. So now I can tell you for sure that when I went to Njorauba for the auditions, it was sort of like a referral. <laughs> like when our connections are written. Okay. <laughs> yes, but um, so the question that you've just asked about mm-hmm. Igiza. Yeah. Damn. Igiza, I was casted by another casting agent as well. Mm-hmm. And when I went to do the auditions for that job, that wasn't the role I was auditioning for. Oh. I was auditioning for another one, the one for Mandy, the best friend to, you know, Nicole and Linda, the lead characters, mm-hmm. which was played by Sarah Teshner. And so I didn't even know there was a character like Baby Ras. So as usual, like I'm telling you, you don't hear feedback one, two weeks. I knew, ah, I mean, I you. And then, you know, you to number, connections, you know, you know, you know, you know, you job, you know, you know, Then on one evening, I remember I was just chilling with my friends in like 14 folds. And then I was like, I was like, like almost a week or two weeks. I had paid a lot of money in the salon the whole day. Then now I get this call and this person is like, I want you to come try this character. I'm like, which character is that? It's for Giza. I'm like, there's another character for the audition. Mm. No, you didn't get that one, but there's one that fits you. I'm like, what do you mean there's one that fits me? <laughs> he's like, you know, as I ever shout out, he's one of the biggest casting agents in Kenya and my very good friend. So I was like, kuna moja ya wenda wazimu, you know, ina kufa wewe. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, this girl is, you know, in prison. She's like a mad woman and yeah. I want you to come and do it. It's not like an audition. I want you to come and do it. And so I was like, okay. So that he, she, so he asked me, how is your hair? I'm like, I keep seeing make it to come up with and me shuka too last week. <laughs> Everything was new. I can remember your prison. Sasa wezi kwa na braids. It's a bit too bomoy. Oh God. And then he's like, think about it. Uh-huh. The job or the salon. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. Kabomo too. That very day. Mm-hmm. Nika took a job the next day. Squana Johnny was Zimu. So Squana Lienda, of course, it wasn't a scene that was very complicated. Mm-hmm. And so I had a few notes with the director as to how would you want me to play this? What do you want me to do like this and that? And so once he gave me the guide, um, I now had to go to the late Charles Oda. Because at that particular point, he was my training uh, coach for acting. Mm-hmm. And we brainstormed the character. We gave the character a few things that the character could do. And then now, after that, I also went to Mugo. He's called Emmanuel Mugo, who deals with stands. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know how to throw even a kick. So he did teach me one, two, three, four, five, six things. So the next time I was coming on set for Baby Ras, at least I knew how to fight. And I'd already identified what to do with the character. Mm. Yeah. Ah, character. I was watching a sema. He is like me pig a lot of takes and we understand we pig perfectly. Like, do you sometimes rehearse the roles that you're given before you went for the actual day of the shoot? Am I the day of recording the scene? Um, for me it depends. If the character is complicated, Kamasa mm-hmm. Saya Baby Ras, mm-hmm. then I needed to do my research. Because it was a very easy character kuka vibaya. Yeah. It was, eh, you get. Mm-hmm. So I had to make sure that at least I had done some preparation mm-hmm. so that sio siku ya set ndio naanza kutafuta what to work with, what to do. So I prepared myself early in advance and then now when I came to set, I already knew what to do with the character. But then zingine zenye 
don't need all that in terms of technicality. Mm-hmm. I just go through the script the previous night. I get through my lines. I just know what to do, where and what, and I just show up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe from the days that you are starting uh, doing your first gig to where you you are today, mm-hmm. the roles that you've done, maybe you, you watch the the past films, some of the past <laughs> videos that you've done. Mm. How do you? Uh, what can you say about yourself? How you did? Cringe. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> ake misi jui mm-hmm. kuna kuanga tu na kitu fulani enye mtu ajazoea kuji appreciate yeah. so when i watch my previous footage i'm like what was i doing why would you do that you get mm. but then with time as you keep growing in the craft you keep polishing you keep getting better so at least to know the progress in terms of growth there were characters that i could play then that i can't play now mm-hmm. Or if I can play them, I can't play them the way I did. Yeah. Ila time ilikuwa tu, eh, nikubatisha men. And some of them were not looking that good. To me, nikiona sai. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's just it. It's just a steady growth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, maybe we, we unapataga role gun, unapataga it's much easier for you to do. Unapataga nizo za emotions. Like the one, there's a part of Gigi that uh, it was full of emotions. Uh, yeah, so like when you put together, put together, it's easier for you to do. Easier for me that I can do closing my eyes, ni kukelele shana angry. Mm-hmm. My very easy go-to emotion is anger, which is very sad, mm-hmm. interestingly. But I'm talking about when it comes to playing angry, mm-hmm. I don't struggle with that at all. So you come and you a lawyer, ni shazwe ya kukelele shana, you get, but characters that involve anger, that involve scolding, this one's mm-hmm. very... Easy. Like I'd say Angelina was so easy for me, the one I did in Kina. Because alikuwa na shina tuwa mejam, anapiga tukelele, alikuwa wazimu. I'm not trying to say that's me. <laughs> but if I, was, if I was gelling with it so easily, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah, but emotional scenes, to be very honest, I never yeah. used to hack them properly. I always used to think I don't have tears. Interesting, I cry every time on a normal day-to-day basis. That's why I was in traffic, I was in a maybe I was stressed, and I was like, God, why? God, why? But since I was in a I used to have a struggle with it. But now, with many training workshops and stuff like that, I've already known how to get tears, how to cry without tears, mm-hmm. how to put yourself in that particular position until... It comes out. And so Gigi has given me enough time to actually say that I can comfortably do emotional scenes now. So I can do any emotional scene and I can get tears from wherever, however, whichever way. Got this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, my another question is maybe how do you prepare yourself for an audition? Like, uh, mm. you get ready for an audition? Because uh, a lot of them. Let me tell you, mm-hmm. I don't think there can ever be a formula that one will get rid of nerves. Mm-hmm. Everybody panics before an audition. Now, the difference between the levels of panic that I can have before an audition is how prepared I am for yeah. that audition. Mm-hmm. So if there are auditions that you're lucky enough for me to make a script before, because there are mm-hmm. some that send the script before such that you can do it, and make sure you practice, na practice, na practice, na practice. Once I'm already good and confident with the lines and then we may practice kwakio several times we jump mm, I can play it like this like that then I can be very confident in that audition I can show up confident I can go in your concert I'll be okay but the many times that I also made the mistake of not preparing properly mm-hmm. I really suffered because you panic because now you start worrying about lines about character about what and what so that's usually the main challenge when you get the script on on the audition day you get yeah. but even though i usually try to just prepare and i think once you do your very best mm-hmm. i usually leave the audition room with a clear conscience na hata usipopata unajua you gave your best but zile zenye unendanga ukibahatisha and then you mess up now you always panic because you're like oh god please let them overlook my mistake overlook so if i don't get it i usually beat myself down like sasa ningekuwa nimefanya vizuri maybe maybe nje kwa nilipata maget so i just think the best thing just be prepared mm-hmm. that way you'll give your best and however it goes you'll be happy with yourself nice yeah. nice and maybe from the point where you are right now like kifika condition room you are told that we want you to 
act this scene you are una explaining the scene mm-hmm. are you able to pull it in a good way ama you're still struggling with that um improves mm-hmm. i think i uh, may become an easily zenye let's say we're prepared for this and then you get in and then they tell you ah yeah so now we want to change the scenario mm-hmm. when i'm in that moment um the best thing that i can do if i'm not feeling quite ready to just go is just tell them because you've given me this scenario now yeah. can you give me like 10 minutes to prepare can i step out maybe to mingine audition then you go prepare and stuff like that but if it's something that you can do on the go mm-hmm. You just go with it because that's how I want to do or make party in that moment. So that's just it. If you don't feel ready and mm-hmm. you can ask for a bit of time and it's given to you, mm-hmm. then you better ask and that's what I do. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so sort of kitoka uko kwa about you acting kidogo and kikuja hapa kwa the entertainment industry of the country. Like Damn. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you feel like uh we are heading in the right direction? and if not maybe nini nafanya tuko behind because mimi nakumbuka signs asema Kenya we on the right path because mm-hmm. uh the time we'll gonna grow up i used to watch a lot of nigerian movies on tv yeah, that's true. right now showmax has a lot of kenyan films netflix yeah. so unaweza sema how we are in the right direction we are headed in the right direction that's absolutely true mm-hmm. because like i'm saying back in like 2015 mm-hmm. if you can look at the status of the industry at that time kama yo audition na kwambia we were like over a thousand people because star times was just coming up yeah. so it was the only thing at that moment that wasn't kina citizen and tv mm. and you know these others already had their people already had televisions going on mm. so it's like there were so many in the 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 slots were very limited in terms of the work the auditions and stuff but now in a kwanga to fit you rapiga best yako ako set huyu mwingine ako set ako set different all of us are at least busy there are so many things coming up show max na multi choice in this idea sana there are so many programs so many za kwa siku pata hii but niko na hii ama naweza ku audition ya hii leo na hii kesho na ile nyingine so the industry is opening up and i usually say if you do not get into it right now chances of you getting left behind is that quite very high in the yeah. future because like you see now i think showmax is merging with canal and then um i don't multi choices with peacock so eventually like you see mtv sugar is coming and mm-hmm. it was on mtv mm-hmm. so there's na funguka the many platforms that are now coming up and many you know channels and stations that are willing to hold kenyan content so it's a great time to be an artist now and then content creation has opened the room for many people you don't have to go on a set ndio ufanye kitu yako if you want yep. to like mm. you know you can always do your own stuff and post whether it's skits and stuff so it has opened up the avenue mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's nice and uh i remember sometimes back i was uh, talking to an artist akaniambia it's good for wasani musicians especially to go f- to music schools and maybe mm. about acting to corner institutions naweza coach watu on acting and are they working to uh, are they working for people First of all I'll say that's one of the disadvantages we have mm-hmm. in Kenya mm-hmm. when it comes to acting. Yeah. It's like it has never been properly structured mm-hmm. such that no resources or schools are set up for specifically acting because mm-hmm. Kenya Film School is there Entangwa ADMI is there KU is there Daystar Kenya Mass and all these things are not going to teach you how to act. Mm-hmm. They'll teach you everything else about set including directing assistant directing script mm-hmm. writing you know aid nani entangwa gym editing all those technical stuff mm-hmm. but nobody teaches you like now we are going to act. So the good thing is many actors themselves who've been in the industry before are now doing workshops. So once they do workshops you as an actor that's maybe joining the industry or has been there and you want to continue perfecting your craft then those are the things that you can attend to be able to improve yourself mm-hmm. like atani vizuri monize so like just yesterday i was attending a master class for acting mm-hmm. up at two financial research center expo center mm-hmm. with the hollywood actor peter macon mm-hmm. and you see it's such things It's just a workshop we just did like a one day thing and that's just it. And now we are having another one coming up by Carol Coach. That time that I was doing a giza I was in one by Charles Oda. Mm-hmm. Nice Gedenji is holding another one called the Talent Studio. 
Nini Washera holds hers. So it's just actors that are now realizing, oh my God, we need to teach these things. Yeah. So they're coming up with workshops and sessions where they're teaching people how to act properly. Okay, okay. nice. Yeah. And maybe one thing that I uh, need to understand, Kidogo, like you said, uh, Njoroi Boy, you did in 2019. Yeah. But uh, we get that in a, in a quarry as I say my jury televised mm-hmm. yeah maybe do you like make an agreement to know uh that the 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 the, the film or the series that you've done will get re televised that's one of the major challenges we're having in the industry to be mm-hmm. honest especially mm-hmm. in filming mm-hmm. and that's the conversation about royalties mm-hmm. and I don't blame the producers for that I mm-hmm. feel like it's the main people like let's say show max or multi choice that bring this agreement to them in the first place yeah. but that's the major challenge we're having that you can do a program now and it can be repeated to learn a citizen while you can rudia let's say akina tahidi hi inspector mola time ya either a few years a few years back yeah. instead of actually giving money to shoot new content they rather repeat and not pay those artists because they weren't paid anything when these things was repeated and so it becomes a very heavy challenge for us that job ya queen is a queen and they are in and they are you're not making anything else out of it except what you made when you are shooting it yeah. And so one of the things that we are trying to fight a lot and engage in as much conversation and legal structures to set up when it comes to acting in the filming industry mm-hmm. is the conversation about royalties. So sometimes, not sometimes, actually many times we don't get paid when it's retelevised. Okay. Yeah. Nice to know. Uh now I want us to wait to uh, let's make it a bit fun to mwange sana tukiwa serious. <laughs> yeah, the serious conversations will be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to a uh, rapid fire. So, are you ready? <laughs> so long as it's not a personal question. <laughs> yeah, there's no personal question. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, so what's your favorite Kenyan movie stroke series? Oh no, don't put me in that position. Movie stroke series or movie and series because okay, it's a let's different do movie things. and series. My best Kenyan movie? Mm-hmm. God damn. It uh Supermodo. Supermodo. Yeah. Supermodo is my best Kenyan movie. Mm-hmm. I think I jay to lower position one. Zingine zinakuja na jaribu, but Supermodo has always been my number one favorite movie. Uh oh gosh. And then series. Mhm. Eh, apo kwa series ni kunoma. Cuz ni zataka pia niweke jiji yenye yenye niko. Mhm. But okay, wacha ni toe yenye niko. In terms of everything, I still always rank Damn. Igiza was my best at some point. Yeah. Igiza Igiza Can I give top 3 because I really can't choose. Okay, okay, let's Fine. So let's top do three, top 3. Uh-huh. In no particular order, mm-hmm. Igiza is definitely there. I felt like they hit the mark for the rush, the thrill. Mm-hmm. And Subterranean because of the whole what is this thing called? You know, um CGI, not CGI, what? Yes, yeah, CGI mm-hmm. and it's just a new feel. Damn, me I can take at Gigi. I'm not going to put in that list because it's there by fire by force. So <laughs> okay. I'm just trying not to favor it. Mm-hmm. And then Antain Kantai. Antain Kantai for me was a good one. Okay. And it was funny. The actors did an amazing job. I loved Antain Kantai with everything. So those are my top three. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one, a role you love to play in future. Damn, I want a character that has like twins or triplets. Mm-hmm. Like where cuz it gives you a chance to really test and compete against yourself mm-hmm. in terms of it's the same person playing two different characters or three different characters kama yeah. yote mm-hmm. na cheza kwa igiza. And so you have the challenge of size mini who you then mm-hmm. the next scene I'm who you who you who you and so it really challenges you as an actor so I'd really love to play a twin or triplet kind of thing. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Best memory on set. Best memory. Mm-hmm. <sighs> What am I supposed to say is the best memory on any set? Yeah, any set. Man, I feel like for me um my most recent best memory on set would be one on Gigi. We were shooting mm-hmm. a night scene. It was a very heavy sequence. Um um and everybody was tired, but at the same time everybody was not getting tired. Kila mtu alikuwa na ana give ana give ana give the energy was just right the characters were on top the crew mm-hmm. was on top and then in that moment you always I can't explain the feeling when you're watching maybe the the, the playback shots and you're like damn 
you guys you're doing an amazing job you know and it just makes you feel like okay this is really what i really want to do mm-hmm. and so i really loved i just i just really loved that particular night it was my mm-hmm. best memory so far and then the others is just hanging out with the castmates and the crew there's great energy they become your family mm-hmm. and in jeroba we used to play games we used to play end of month challenges parties mm-hmm. it was so fun man yeah Okay. Uh the next one. Who's the funniest actor stroke actress you've worked with? I have worked with. Yes. The funniest. Yes. Oh god. First of all, my co-actor in Gigi gives me a very hard time Nick Quatch <laughs> when he does those <laughs> improvs and you're not prepared for them and you have to keep cutting because we keep laughing. Mm-hmm. I think Nick Quatch is a very very interesting and funny random improv character mm-hmm. I, I i'm not very good with improvs and so i'm always just how did you even think of that he's really amazing when it comes to being funny and then mm-hmm. i'd say ben take yeah ben take is just a funny character in terms of the characters he plays whatever it is that he does oh, mm-hmm. Ugh, ben take is really amazing manzi about actresses mm-hmm. i'm yet to interact with funny girls mm-hmm. like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, Mwende si mfani. <laughs> Mwende ni mfani, character. Okay. You get mm-hmm. character yake, character ya Mwende ni mfani. Uh-huh. Oh. It's the Stevens, mm-hmm. sijui kama ni mfani level ya Mwende. Okay. Una get, so nikisema mm-hmm. ni get. Mwende, ndakuwa na, okay, but pia nimesema ni lame. Sawa. <laughs> but you'd be, you'll be su- very surprised that Achi is usually the funniest of us. Mm. Okay. <laughs> She has random weird jokes and you're like, how Are you know what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh the last one. One word that describes your journey in the industry. One word. Yeah. Uh consistency. I think I can proudly stand here and say I'm among the most consistent actors in this country mm-hmm. in terms of since I entered the game. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a year that I haven't done anything. Oh. I don't think there's a year that you'll not see any of my work. Mm-hmm. And it will be, one time I was sitting in the house and interestingly, Njeroba was playing on my Shamajik. Mm-hmm. Njeroba finished, Igiza came. Igiza finished, I turned to, um, what is this thing called? Uh, mother-in-law. I was also there. And oh. then my friend was sending me a show, uh, Nani, how she was watching Kina. And so I'm like, I'm really in my bag, yo. Like I can watch myself three times wow. continuously on TV. Me. Ah, hakuna mtu anaweza niambia. So I think I can confidently stand here and say I have been one of the most consistent actors in that game. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And maybe uh huh, let me ask this. What's something people will be surprised to know about the film of Gigi? surprised to know about yep. the film that the series mm-hmm. I'll correct you on series oh, and film sorry. okay film is like a feature film a movie okay and then series is the long one episodically okay. and stuff okay. the most the mo- the most uh, what's something people will be surprised to know about the fi- the filming of jj <laughs> damn gosh i mm-hmm. think that the major people that played a hand in making Gigi mm-hmm. you'd be surprised are interns of course there was the qualified crew mm-hmm. and then there were several interns on that set wow. and you'd be very surprised at the work that they managed to do mm-hmm. by the time we were finishing the last episode 90 mm-hmm. some of those interns were actually the HODs in their departments and so you'll be very surprised at the kind of work that these people learned to do on that set So unaweza ukitaka unaweza check out ukitaka unaweza furai but hiyo mm. ni kazi ya interns wengi of oh. course there are the big people and stuff like that who are guiding them but yeah with the level of everything that it is mm-hmm. interns did that okay yeah. i have two last question one is not like a question but yeah. let me start with the first question uh the second last question maybe uh umesema you maybe you, you might go to audition for an a role but you are not sure kama utapata ama utapata and then another one it okay you also audition for the same one then you call for the both of them how do you see how would you in, in that scenario how would you decide <laughs> first of all the money uh-huh. second of all what kind of show is it mm-hmm. 
uh, is it a movie? Is it a series? Because mm-hmm. again, when it's a series, it's a bit long term. Yeah. So am I willing to lose a character in a series for a movie? You get, depends on what the movie is. Mm-hmm. So, and then also on the character. Sometimes there's a jipata in a dilemma of choosing two, and then you decide to go with a character that's, that you've never done, maybe, mm-hmm. just for the sake of having a different credential. And that happened to me when I was auditioning for Gigi. I had also auditioned for Antai Kantai mm-hmm. for the character of Ruby. Yeah. And so I was just praying, okay, zote, zote, wote, wawili, kumbe, walikuwa, atome, okoka, whatever, mm-hmm. charge thing. And I was just saying, God, you choose for me. Because I do not know what to choose. Both of them are series. Both of them are amazing. Both of them are good productions. But then Gigi is 90 episodes and Time Kanta is 13. But it's Philly. So they usually have many jobs. And so if you work with them, chances are they'll work with you again. So there was all that dilemma and stuff. I just decided, you know what, God, you choose for me. And so since Gigi responded fast, mm-hmm. I don't think I got the character for Time Kanta either way. But Gigi responded fast, and I said, if the other ones would call, I'd just say Nishapata Ingine, and that's the one that maybe God wanted me to do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I really, really always just pray to God to guide me in terms of character and audition. Because sometimes you find yourself, even on the same day, you have three shoots, and you don't yeah. know even what to do. True. And I'm like, the one that you want me to go to, that's the one that you'll guide me to. And you start as a kufanya, you require angu. So, yeah. Yeah, Chukimaliza, uh, what's uh, that? Chukimaliza. Chukimaliza is a two time. What's that one scene script? Yen you saw man, I can stack kwa head yako. Like you can, unaza iri do any time. One? Scene script. Kwa which show? Any. Yen you saw man, ukasema, and it got stuck to your head. My character? Yes. Or anybody else's? Your character. Man, I, I, I have many, because... I don't know if I can pick, to mm-hmm. be honest, but I'll tell you for sure that Angelina was my best character. So I used to look at Angelina's script and I'm just like, this girl, Kwanza, there's a wedding scene she didn't. I'll never forget that scene. I always watch it if I need to remind myself how good I am. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. And then V, Gigi. I don't know if there's any particular scene that I can choose, but I'd say maybe episode two, the when now I first get reintroduced after episode one that have become a pastor's wife and yeah. stuff, that scene will forever stick with me because it always brings transition in terms of my diversity. And of course, how can I not think about Igiza? Because fighting and all that was just crazy and interesting. Oh, and I can't leave country queen out of this conversation. Oh yeah. Because first of all that show was big. Mm-hmm. It paid us very well. Mm-hmm. And my character that was among the first times that I played a mature character. This is in as a kwanga kawazimu, ka ghetto girl, ka nini, <laughs> kastiana ka university. That was the first time that I played a married woman and who's struggling with a real life challenge like in terms of getting children and so i'd say that was my one of the very first times that i saw a script and a character that i had never before and i really liked it it was very nice playing mature playing calm playing not dramatic Mm -hmm. and then we had one of the most amazing directors vini who really helped with that scene so vincent mbaya kudos he he made that scene unforgettable Mm -hmm. and then that's just it, man. I just, I just can't pick. Yeah, I've I've had the privilege and chance to have very good characters. Yeah. Wow. wow. And Uli mentioned that uh, unaza act a good senior kukelelesha. Mm. So let's try something if you don't mind. Oh no! <laughs> Do you want me to kelelesha you here? Let's try. Let's try and see. So that you are not prepared <laughs> me for. Hey. So uh, let me give you a scenario. Mm. Then we see if we can do that. So <laughs> mm-hmm. let's let's say this. You're my mom, African mom. Mm. And uh nimevunja glass. I'm a flask. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like an African mom. So at you when you nimeanza to at us a man is men metoka happy. Ama that's for me to figure out. That's for you to figure out. Oh, damn. You boy, you. <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> so? What, um, what name should I give you? Henny, Henny, yeah. 
fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, wacha tuniseme nilikuwa nimetulia tu. Lakini African, let me just imitate my mother mm-hmm. because she's usually on her phone with her car. One finger like this on my my grand uh-huh. mother actually. Uh-huh. That's a weird character. Sijui mumcast. Sana kwa hivi. Hey, is that my glass you've broken? Huh? Oh, not your glass me no pesa ngapi? In your small life, Lloyd, you have decided utakuja kwa nyumba yangu utakuwa nimetoka uamue kunivunjia glass. Eh? Mm. Nini ni mbaya na kichwa yako? Nini ni mbaya na bebe? Unaje kwa nyumba ushai tu hata pesa yako na kichwa yote. Eh? Bado. Ushai. Ah, Bado. ongea na sauti sifuski. Bado. Have you ever? No. Removed any coin? I'm eh? sorry. Unajua nimekubeba kwa kutunda yangu ni zingapi? Eh? Do you know the pain that I went through? You were my biggest child? Niliteseka sana my pelvis is broken because of you. Haujatosheka na hiyo umekuja ku break glasses in my I'm house. Sorry, I'm sorry, mom. Don't apologize to me. Meskia, I don't want your fake apologies kama wewe unipatia pesa yako zinunua. Kwanza toka hapo saa hii. Go and do important things in this life. But see, dad will buy. Ati? Dad will buy another one. Dad will dad, dad, dad will buy another one. Hiyo ni nakuanga kazi yako. Ebu mwambie nipatie hiyo pesa mimi ndio nitajua venye venye nitanunua hiyo glass. Nione ukijaribu kumwambia tia anunue alete hapa. Tell him to give me that money. Umesikia? Ama hata usijaribu kumwambia. Acha nimpigie saa hii. Mwambie. We. Kijana wako azimu amevunja glass. <laughs> Nilikuwa nataka unitumie kama thao tano. I bought those things very expensive by the way. Ati utatuma? Okay, wanu moyo nyumba mnakonga na shida ya akili ama? Eh? Na una kwenye natoa kichwa ngumu. Ni mzee wako. Hebu toka hapa. Toka. <laughs> Kabla sita kukasirikia. <laughs> Damn, I wow. did that. Wow. That's weird. I can't see your name. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> that was a good one. Hmm. I hope it was. <laughs> it was. Hmm. Thanks a lot for coming. Okay. Oh, we want another one. As in that's it. There's no other question, there's no other thing. <laughs> no. I uh, was thanking you for coming then I give you uh the chance to talk to aspiring okay. actors. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So you can talk to aspiring actors, let them uh know the pros and the cons of what uh, the industry entails. <laughs> aspiring actors. Mm-hmm. I always tell them anybody who DMs me asking that famous question what shall i do to get into the industry mm-hmm. follow the respective pages i always send them pages because me i can't give you a job as zibi i'm not a producer yeah but i can send you pages that you can follow like auditions.com auditions.co.ke cinema focus all those pages post auditions mm-hmm. and just do the due diligence of always showing up for auditions there is nothing as bad as someone asks you what they can do you send them the details and then they don't show up today tomorrow they don't submit anything so follow up get your tools ready by tools of acting the basic ones a headshot a simple nice photo us to me selfie casting agent just want to see your selfie just go to a studio a professional get a good photo headshot a full photo a medium shot and then go online get a monologue from google a one minute monologue will get you so many jobs at least that way you'll be able to know where to start those are the necessary tools that you need and then the pros mm-hmm. the industry is wide you never know what a single acting job can do it can either get you a lot of money make you famous open other doors for you we also what happened to yasmin said the one who played maria yeah. after she did maria and it was a first job open other doors for her that can happen to you too as well at the same time you have to have a very thick skin this industry is not for the faint hearted the number of times you audition you don't get it the number of times that you audition in some audition you know agents or something t- talk to you in some way that is not really right and it makes you question yourself and you have start having self doubts you will need to be a very good planner because the instability on this industry is very interesting you can have a job for like four months five months or even a year and be jobless for the next two what are you going to do in that meantime 
Are you going to sit and wonder and wait for the next job? So you really have to have anything else that you're doing on the side or if it's that one you're focusing on at least make sure that you invest your money properly use it to rebrand use it to keep investing in your craft so that you never lack jobs and that's just the major thing the con is just the instability guys i'll not lie it's seek a job in guinea you gonna monthly payment even as a pata 500,000 in a gig and then be jobless for the next one year uta tumia tu your pesa you get mm. so you really have to be a very good planner and then don't give up have thick skin and a brave heart that's True. what it needs mm-hmm. yeah and then if you're like me and you're mm-hmm. like an advocate oh, you don't need to say advocacy baby oops my bad <laughs> so you're like me maybe that you're an advocate mm-hmm. or you have another career that you're doing try to balance the two all of them are important yeah. everything everything is important in this life if you can do five things and you can do them do them it's all about balance and yeah that's just it so currently i i'm working on a talk show called orange matters mm-hmm. i just post like one minute two minutes or maximum five minute videos where i inform the industry of what is happening and especially the legal aspect and the creative aspect it's an interesting niche it's mm-hmm. an upcoming niche yeah not upcoming upcoming in terms of people are now starting to focus on the legal matters affecting the creative industry mm-hmm. and so that's just where i am trying to major on right now yeah yeah so kimaliza as you tell us your so, your socials and also if there is there any project that you've worked on that we should be expecting oh um there's a short film that i did in january called in delhi bull mm-hmm. uh i starred alongside the very amazing justin mirishi oh his his movie called shimoni is also among my top three i forgot to mention movie mm-hmm. it's a very amazing actor we're launching it in november mm-hmm. so that's a short film to look out for yeah. and anything else unless it's my page and everything um for the small videos that i am shooting and stuff like that mm-hmm. you can also check that out i'm a pianiki kastiva sugar Woo! <laughs> you know and Bia but yeah just keep watching Gigi and keep enjoying the content so far wow <laughs> yeah my page is Sibyl Colette mm-hmm. yeah S Y B I L C O L E W T E don't write those other things that you people write you will just find me there on Instagram on TikTok though I'm very inactive on TikTok on Facebook I'm still very inactive miss Jinda fanywa nini yake but yeah those are my major handles mm-hmm. and yeah just keep following me man At Santa Sana for coming make sure me follow Sibyl how I'm pronounce it by Msema Ebu sema tena ni Sibyl yeah Sibyl <laughs> Yeah I'm following when what uh, she's doing now also msi saw how subscribe to Lloyd's TV Africa's number one interview TV and of course it's the home of entertainment see you in the next episode I've been your host Bonsevic aka Mike King bye bye